I was painting my bathroom today and my girlfriend was like, uh, what do I do with this paint roller now that I'm done with it? She was doing the first coat, she had to leave, I was into the second coat. And I said, throw it in a garbage bag or a plastic bag and put it in the freezer. She looked at me like I had three heads. Uh, if you don't know, you can throw a paint roller with paint still on it in the freezer or the fridge uh, if you're in between coats. I've left them for a week sometimes. If they are frozen, which they will because there's water in there, uh, you'll have to let them thaw out. And it could, depending on the paint, kind of clump up and it could show on your wall. But all the paints I've used, bare, um, Glidden, the better ones, uh, you pay a little bit more for the higher end of their lines. Those are fine, um, generally speaking. So all you do is, let me show you. Throw a garbage bag, throw a rubber bander on the bottom of it, and there you are. Pull it out of here. Just hug the blue with one hand. One second. Slides right out. You can see it's kind of, it's not dry at all because it's cold. Uh, this one's a little bit frozen. I had it in there for about an hour and a half. Because uh, if you didn't know, let's say you're stopping to take like a lunch break and you just leave your paint roller, it's gonna dry and it's gonna ruin your paint roller. So rather than cleaning it every single time, uh, this is an easy way to fix that. I wouldn't leave it in there too long. A lot of people probably would disagree with me, especially the paint professionals. Um, they'd probably say wash your paintbrush and your paint rollers with warm water and soap or whatever they use uh, every time. Um, it's very time consuming, let's be practical here. I have a starter home, so I don't need perfect walls. Um, they come out really great using this method anyway. Hope it helps you save some time and frustration. Good luck.